Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at some really interesting iPhone settings which will allow you to enable some really great and useful features on your iPhone that you probably didn't even know before. These are 10 features that are actually very, very useful and I suggest every iPhone user must take advantage of those and of course use them on their device. Now, first of all, we're moving to the iCloud settings. So go to your account at the top of the settings app and head on under iCloud. Now, what you will find here if you scroll all the way down is the button that allows to enable access iCloud data on the web, which means that when you sign in into your iCloud on a website, on a browser, maybe on your computer, you will have full access to your stuff that you have saved on your iCloud account. So right here it says it gives you access to your mail, contacts, calendars, photos, notes, reminders, files, and documents on the web. So whatever files you have saved on your account, on your iCloud, you can now have access to them, not just through your iPhone, but through the website as well. Moving on under the seller settings. So go to your seller settings and then scroll all the way down. You will find here something called iCloud Drive. Now, if you have unlimited data on your data plan, then you need to use this feature. Now, what it does is that it will utilize your seller data to actually move your files, transfer the files to your iCloud and back from your iCloud to your iPhone, however you need them to. So basically, this will use your seller data whenever you're not connected to Wi-Fi. If you have this disabled, then this will happen. The transfer will only happen when you're connected to Wi-Fi network. So if you don't care about your seller plan, if you have plenty of data or you have unlimited data, then you can go ahead and easily use this feature and it will actually be very, very convenient. Now here's something really interesting. If you go to your home screen and then you go right here to apps library, you will have your recently added apps and you will have all the other folders here. And then you will have suggestions based on time of the day and your location and all that your iPhone will basically try to learn which apps you use most during that time and will suggest those apps right there. But if you don't use that feature and you don't want to have that extra folder on your apps library, then you can remove that pretty easily. Head on to your settings and then go right here under Siri and search. And then you will have here suggestions from Apple. You will have show in app library. You disable that setting right there. And then that's gone. You will only have the folders with your apps. And of course, the folder with the most recently added apps. Next up, we're moving under the map settings. So as you probably know, with iOS 17, Apple has added a great new feature to use maps offline. Now, what you can do here is enable this setting, which says only use offline maps, which means that if you're even connected to the internet, but you're in a place where you have that map downloaded, it will still use that map instead of using the online map, that way saving you a ton of data. Simply enable it right here. But if you want to use that, what I would suggest you do, you'll also enable this other setting right here, automatic updates, which means that you always have the map updated and you don't use some old map. So enable this, then you can also enable this feature to always use the map, the offline map, if of course you have it already downloaded to your device. Next up, we're moving under the notification settings. So under notifications right here, we have announced notifications. Now, if you go here, you will have announcement connected to headphones and then CarPlay. So for CarPlay, you can choose here to announce messages and all that stuff. Now, what you will have here is the button to enable reply without confirmation. So whenever you're connected to your, to your CarPlay or to your headphones, and Siri will announce a notification that you receive from messages, for example. If you have this enabled, when you reply to it, you choose to reply to it, it won't read you the message back to you. It will just send the message automatically. So that will be much, much convenient. And of course, will save you a ton of time. Now, here's another setting that you can choose to enable for different notifications, which I think is very, very important, especially if you have an app where you get notifications that you think are really important to you and you shouldn't miss any of those. So you can choose any app you want, but in this case, let's just choose tracking notifications here. So if your iPhone detects that like a device is tracking you, then you will get a notification. But what you can do is go here to banner style. Now, if you go to banner style, it will have two different options. Now, temporary will be the default for notifications, which means that the banner will show here for a couple of seconds and it goes away. But if you choose persistent, 
the banner will stay here all the time. Of course, until you interact with it and you remove the banner, which means that you have seen the notification. That's really, really important and a great thing to do for any like app where you need notifications from and you think they are really important so you don't wanna miss any of those. Make sure you always have that enabled. So just choose persistent banner right there. You will have the banner stick to your home screen or any app you're at without of course being removed without you interacting on it. Moving on to the focus modes. Now, if you have a focus mode enabled, like I have my recording here enabled, you can now choose the options for your notifications and you will have here some very useful options. So when I have this enabled right here, I can silence notifications and I can choose to do that while locked or always. So when I choose while locked, this means that when the device is locked, it will silence notifications completely. But when I'm using it, I have un unlocked my device, even though I have this focus mode turned on, it will of course show me the notifications. Now, another thing you can do is that you can enable here dim lock screen, which means that it will darken the lock screen of your device when you're on this focus mode. So even though you have the always on display, of course, enabled and you have all those things, maybe some widgets showing you there on a, or any live activity, when you have this enabled, you want those to actually be hidden. Here's what you can do. You enable dim lock screen. And even though you have, of course, the always on display enabled, it will only show you the clock right there. And of course, it will dim out the screen of your device. I don't know how many people know this, but you can change the time format on your iPhone and that's very easy to do. All you have to do is head on to your settings, go under general here, and then go under language and region. And then you will have the date format right here and you will have the number format as well. So if you go to date format, you can see we have all these different options. So you know that some like regions use a different date format month before the date or date before the month whichever one you choose whichever one you want to choose you can actually change them right here you will also have the number format so you can choose the number format which you prefer directly from here and basically everything else like the measurement system you can of course change the temperature here which unit you use everything can actually be changed directly from here and you can even choose when the week does start so for a lot of people they have it on sunday a lot of them will have it on monday so you can change all that here by simply going to language and region under the general settings now here is a really cool feature for people that have an iphone 15 pro with the action button so you know that with the action button you can invoke shortcuts but you can also invoke a folder of shortcuts so let's first head on here under the shortcuts app and let me show you guys what i'm talking about so you will have a few different shortcuts here you will have your folders of course you can create like a new folder if you want to use that for this feature and just add the with the shortcuts that you want to use on there then head on to your settings go under action button and right here under action button just choose the shortcuts option and then right here tap on choose a shortcut but instead of that choose a show folder tap right there it will show you the folders that you have on the shortcuts app in this case i have this one and then it won't just run a shortcut it will actually show me that folder of shortcuts and just like that i can actually choose to run any of these shortcuts directly from here and for the last part, we're moving on to FaceTime and we have a couple of settings here for some really nice features. First of all, there's live captions, which means that you get live captions of a conversation live while you're on a FaceTime call. You will get the live captions, which is really cool. You can enable it right there by simply switching on this button. You will have an explanation there of what it does. You will also have FaceTime live photos. This allows you to capture a live photos during a video call. So you're just talking to someone, you can actually have a live photo taken of that conversation, of that video call, which is really, really cool. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some really cool new features that you can enable on your iPhone by using some settings that a lot of people don't actually know about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Of course, don't forget to leave a like on the video, and I'll see you on the next one.